Welcome to Knicks.com. I'm Jonah Ballow here, joined by Dewan Summers, a new member to the New York Knicks. And uh, what do you think about this squad and maybe a potential fit there for you and what you're looking to accomplish here? Uh, I think the squad is a good squad. You know, obviously it's a, a completely different team from last year. So, you know, it's a lot of changes, a lot of new faces. And um, I'm definitely trying to be one of the new faces that'll be around. So, uh, you know, just bringing some uh, some veteran leadership to the team, you know, a guy who knows his role and, you know, just being professional and always giving that effort. You know, New York fans deserve that effort and, you know, it's really important for them to have that. So, you know, just trying to be one of those guys who can bring that to the table. What have you learned in your career so far? Kind of bounced around, mm -hmm. you know, been in summer league and, and right. done some, di been on some different teams and had some different experiences. Uh, you know, I learned a lot, man. You know, just uh, how to be a true professional, you know, just to take full control over myself and, you know, how I govern myself and not, uh, you know, worry about things that are really out of my control. So, you know, that's probably been the biggest lesson and that's a life lesson I can, you know, apply that to everything else that I do after basketball as well. Are there things that sort of surprise you when you get into the league or sort of see how things work? And you have this probably idea of how exactly yeah, it's going to happen yeah. and maybe things don't necessarily go that way? Absolutely. <laughs> you know, when I, when I got drafted to Detroit, it was a rebuilding stage. So, you know, I just had this this fantasy in my mind about how the NBA was, you know, just this super level of professionalism and just, you know, organization and everything structured. And it's really not that way sometimes, you know, it's really about you being a professional yourself first and foremost. And, you know, like I said, controlling what I can control and not worrying about what others are doing or not doing. So, you know, that, that probably was the biggest, uh, I guess, epiphany <laughs> to learn sure. about getting into the NBA from being a kid and, you know, just fantasizing about it. How about your game? Uh, what do you look to bring to the table? Some fans out there, if they don't quite ne necessarily know what you bring to the table, what are some of your skill levels? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty good. I'm pretty versatile at shooting the ball, you know, for my size and athleticism, defending multiple positions and, you know, so just doing those things and taking it to a higher level. And, um, you know, the triangle definitely pits everybody in a position who can shoot the ball and, you know, read the defense. Uh, to be successful. So, you know, just, just building on that, being a sponge, you know, learning from all the guys that are around, you know, Melo, Coach Fish, and, you know, just bringing that professionalism again. Now, I know you recently signed a bunch of the guys have been working out for a couple weeks. Have you had a chance to mix it up there on the court, kind of uh, yeah. get it, get yeah. adjusted and yeah. learn some of them? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I've been, uh, been here for two weeks now myself, okay. too, back and forth. You know, I go back to Baltimore. That's where I'm from on the weekend just to be with my family. But, yeah, man, getting out there is awesome. Getting out there is awesome. Just getting up and down with those guys, getting a feel for how the team is, the competitive nature. You know, I think it's going to be a great camp. Everybody's hungry. And uh, I think everybody has a lot to prove this year. So have you bonded with Melo, a, a fellow Baltimore guy there? <laughs> yeah, you know, I know Melo for some time now. So uh, whenever we see each other's love, you know, I always let him know, um, you know, anytime we can get a chance to work out, you know, he's so busy with all the stuff, sure. you know, being at the top of the game like he is. So, but yeah, um, it's good. Yeah, and what about the Ravens? Uh, <laughs> I didn't want to bring it up, but. You had to, you had to bring it up. You had to bring it up. But, uh, you know, they've had so much success, I can't feel too bad. Yeah, this is the first time, you know, we've been 0-3, you know, and it's, it's frustrating. You know, I watched the game yesterday and sure. I was, it's, it was weird to see, right? It, it was an emotional roller coaster, man. We got the touchdown. I'm like, okay, we gonna go up, we gonna win. And then we gave up a touchdown like the very next drive. And, you know, it's different. You know, it's a new team. You know, I think Flacco's gonna come through. I know, you know, he's, he's a great quarterback. He just needs some more people to pass to. You know, the defense is a little hit. Sucks, sure. took an injury. Sucks is out. So, you know, um, it's gonna take some time. Coach Harbaugh is on it. You know, we believe in him. You know, Baltimore faithful, we're loyal. So, <laughs> we'll, be, we'll be fine. And again, much success over the past couple of years. So, yeah, I'm not yeah. feeling too bad for you guys. <laughs> uh, what are some of the things that you like to do off the court? Oh, uh, man, uh, I'm a big movie buff. Okay. You know, I love to watch my movies. Um, you know, and if I'm not watching my movies, just spending time with my kids and just reading, you know, reading and writing and planning things out. I'm, I'm all about, you know, just uh, reflecting and, you know, getting to that space mentally where I can, you know, just function, you know, to the highest of my ability. So just, you know, doing things that, you know, complement that. Best movie of all time. Ooh. <laughs> that's throw a, you up there. Yeah, that's, that's a tough one. Now, you know, loving movies the way I do, I can't just pick one, but uh, I have a few favorites. Uh, you know, Armageddon always touches me. You know, I love that movie. You cried during it? It, it almost got me there. <laughs> okay. But I, I didn't drop one. And if I did, I wouldn't tell you. <laughs> right, right. Of course you can't admit that. No. <laughs> but you know, I like uh, that when movie. Steven Tyler song comes on. Oh boy. <laughs> and you know, the stick, you know, touch yeah. the stick. <laughs> That's when you just gotta kinda walk away. Yeah, you know, oh, you just gotta oh, turn your head, I man. Go to the bathroom. <laughs>
Yeah, one of those moments. But I love that movie. I don't know. I, that's one. That was the first one that came to mind. But you know, I, I, all types of movie dramas, thrillers. You know, I just love movies. Great. Well, we'll be at West Point and let's catch up again. Talk some NFL and Absolutely. hoops and uh, movies. Great. great. All right. It was great to meet you. There he is, Dewan Summers, right here on Knicks.com.